Hello and welcome to Gabriel's 3D Printing. Today we're going to be looking at wireframe skull pencil holder uploaded by Phil Nelson. First things first, we're going to go down to developer notes, see if they have any specifications. And they say no rafts, no supports, and a 0% infill. So easy enough. Once you're ready, click on this uh, download all files button. And you should get some files similar to this. All you have to do now is click and hold on the STL file and drag it to your preferred slicer of choice and give it a few seconds to load in. And once it's finished loading in, you should be given a model that looks similar to this with a lot of red areas. Now, the first thing you're gonna experience is gonna be the model error that your model's not manifold. We can safely ignore that, so just click on the X. And let's take this step by step. First, we're going to go to profile. We're going to click on whatever layer height you want. You should be more than finer at a 0.2 millimeter layer height, but it is suggested that you go finer. So I would actually recommend a 0.16 millimeter in order to avoid a lot of stringing and little errors that you may encounter. But for this video's purpose, and because I have a little higher end printer, I'm going to stick with 0.2 millimeters. Next, we're going to go to infill. The developer suggested a 0% infill, so where it says infill density, change that to 0%. Next, we're going to go to supports. The developer said no supports, even though there's quite a bit of red, which indicates that supports are recommended or needed. Developer said no supports, so we're going to leave that off. Make sure that is unchecked. Finally, we're going to go to build plate adhesion. The gentleman said no rafts, so we don't need any rafts or brims, etc. So make sure it says skirt or none, and you should be fine there. And finally, you are set. All you have to do is click on the slice button and give it a few seconds to render up. Once it's finished slicing, you should be given a time estimate of roughly four hours and 42 minutes, as well as an estimated filament usage of 12 grams of filament. So once you're ready, click on the preview button here to make sure everything looks nice and dandy, no errors or anything funky going on. And everything looks pretty good. So all you have to do now is save the file and send it over to your printer. Here's the model straight off the build plate. As of now, it looks pretty good, but there might be some minor spots with stringing. If you would like, grab a pair of tweezers and pull on those strings a little in order to remove them. Here's the model once a minor cleanup was performed. The model came out pretty crisp and clean, although there are some parts of the model that still have a little bit of stringing. As mentioned before, although the title does say that this is a pencil holder, at the current size it probably can't hold too much, considering how small it is. So if you do want to use this as any type of holder for pencils or anything bigger, you may have to scale the model up a little. But other than that, the model is beautiful and well designed, and anybody who is thinking about printing it should print it. 